I believe in mana. I believe in it. Oh yeah, for sure. God definitely gives you everything you need. Absolutely. Which is food. Yep. And he gives you stuff, obviously, to create shelter <laughs> for free. Yep. Um, the land, uh, it used to sort of be free. And, uh, <laughs> but, but anyway, my theory is God gives you everything you need. You can eat for free, yeah. live for free. Yeah. Um, Sun energy free. And if you can't eat and live for free, then uh, <laughs> that's energy right there, you're guys. Just, free. Yeah. <laughs> you. Huh? We got fourteen gallons of gas. No. Times two. Yep. <laughs> fourteen gallons of gas times two. <laughs> and we have our own gas pump. <laughs> we have our own little gas station. We have our own gas station. <laughs> Let's see here. And these are pretty much gravity fed, I'm reckoning. So So the thing has to be below whatever. Had, yeah, you have to have it either in a in the back of the truck or up on something oh, okay. to raise it up. I'm assuming. Just assuming, trying to use a little common sense and think, yeah, we need some gravity. These are so cool. I know, hopefully I'm tightening this enough. We'll have to pay attention to how long 28 gallons of gas lasts. Like, mm -hmm. it almost makes me think, uh, we could, we oh, could, shit. <laughs> we could make it last a month, but I am not sure. Uh, the, the rate we've been going, uh, no. No? We've been burning like five gallons every two days, it seems like. Yeah. Since we got the camper and y'all are being all spoiled <laughs> with AC. Yeah, uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I can't deny that. Yeah, we were doing super good <laughs> until D&D &D Ministries decided to come and spoil them. Oh yeah, the AC is just and break it's, me. It's because now beautiful. it's a beautiful thing. Because now they're <laughs> sitting in there while I'm working, and I got to pay for all their their. Uh, hey, I'm there. Their I'm gas. there being your camera guy. I'm there in spirit. How does this work? Turn it that way. Oh, I heard noise. <laughs> mm, got a safety switch. Oh, we ain't pumping yet. Oh, there it goes. Oh. <laughs> Gravity fed gas pump. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. This is so cool. For all and the times. I guess times, we gotta loosen this up for some airflow, maybe. All the times that we have needed gas for the generator. And like just to be able to walk over here and fill it up. This is pr actually pretty cool. So <laughs> now I'm gonna have to build like a little deck, I guess, about the same height as the tailgate. That way we could roll these off onto like a. Oh, that'd be cool. A deck, cause they have to be. Oh, <gasps> they have to be up off the ground for, you know, the fuel to come out. Yeah. So they have to be up on like a deck when we unload. So how do you know when this is full? Yeah, you can just see it. Yeah. But that does, that is a pretty uh a pretty nice stream. Just flowing. And of course we have Paper Lady to thank for this. Dang right. This is such it's just such a blessing. We we just need gas constantly. There's no there's no days that we go without mm -hmm. the need for gas. So Thank you, Paper Lady. <laughs> This is, oh, and it's not just this one, it's this one as well. All right, close that back up. And I guess we need to turn our switch off here. <laughs> it's so dark. Bam. <laughs> well, this is a, a definitely awesome end. Uh, so temporar temporarily, I guess I'm going to have to take like two of those pallets off the pile. And I guess we're going to use a stack of pallets as our fuel island. So we're going to make a pallet project? Not really. Oh.
I think everyone should have a paper lady. It's a blessing to have a paper lady. <laughs> it is it's so, a serious yeah, blessing. It to is have so one. I need to move this firewood. So I'm clearing out an area. Well, uh, we pretty much had the cabin. Like, it's like 98% framed up and ready. So, and I think I have enough boards to cover the roof, but we need a lot of siding. And I figure the perfect tree for that is right there. It's kind of uh, not very, I don't know, it's an alright tree, but it ain't. The top of it is super, it's just a bush. Yeah. It's like a big tree with just a, a little bush on top. So it's not really thriving. Yeah. And it's a poplar. It ain't, uh, it's, it's light and good for siding. So this is perfect. And, uh, I guess I we know. should take down our light. Yeah, we'll have to take down our light. But uh, as you can see, this tree is like in the middle of our little village here. Yeah. So uh, it's a little risky. So you're going for right, right in there, huh? Yep. I'm That's gonna, the goal. I'm gonna try to fill this thing right in between them two trees right there. And then I'm just going to have to mill the whole tree right here and mill us up some siding. So I'm working at home today, right in the middle of the village. <laughs> so is this, uh, you know, more a, uh, but it's cold. <laughs> it's kind of cold. Yeah. 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 He's gonna get a bath because he's a little flea bitten mongrel. Come on! Come hey. on, Teddy! Good boy! So, Teddy is gonna get a bath because he's a little flea bitten mongrel. Come on! Hey. Come on, Teddy! <laughs> I'm vlogging. Teddy, are you serious? Put your legs down! Put your legs down! <laughs> Teddy, you're going to feel so much better. This is just going to make your whole little puppy life. You're going to smell good and those fleas are going to be 
Oh, jumping off of you. Peppy the pee pee. <laughs> Good boy. I need to see this on the Christmas holiday, though. <laughs> nice. Good boy. Teddy's all done. He smells like a good boy. You're done. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my tablet. You feel better, Teddy? Feel better, Teddy? <laughs> He's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> all right. We got our nut. And I'm using me a 45 here. A square. Make sure I'm aiming in the right direction. It looks like I'm good. Looks like that's aiming right towards my hole. <laughs> so we're going for it. That looks pretty good to me. I mean, looks... well, let's do it. It looks like it's going where I want it. We're about to find out. Stop it now. Oh! Damn, you nailed it. You nailed it. <gasps> Show off. Climbing tree! Climbing tree! <laughs> well, got ourselves some lumber here. Too much lumber. It literally. It didn't even like hurt the wood pile. <laughs> it just fell right. It's that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Good job. Well, I have to be honest. I was aiming for the middle of that hole, not the left. <laughs> Dang it. This is the middle. <clears throat> so this. Is about to be siding. Yep. This nice. is amazing. <laughs> this should be enough to side the hole. That's awesome. Yeah. It's so straight. Dang right. I like straight. Yeah. Now I gotta go get my sawmill sled, mount that up here, and start milling siding. So I'm gonna do two 20 footers out of this first, probably like 21 foot. And then after I do my two 20 footers, then I'll just start ripping 10 footers after that. But yeah. Cool story, bro. Dang, right? <laughs> Good story, bro. Tell, them, tell it like it is. <laughs>
Yep. That bar is out of my way. have my saw set at the defacing depth uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move the sled on this one and go ahead and deface this one also like that one and after that we'll be running cutting boards these I'm just okay these are for siding right it's for the cabin let's just put it that way okay I'm just need, asking how big they're gonna be oh uh like half inch i think the boards i need i'm thinking about uh so you know the the rafters of the roof so on the outside of those rafters because the rafters are going to be getting weathered so what i'm thinking about doing is adding a one inch board down the sides of the top of the building to protect the frame so then the outside board will be getting weathered instead of the board on the inside which is important to support your roof you don't really want that to rot so I'm thinking about adding these boards to the outside of it to protect it maybe even the front and back so I'm cut that's why I measured this 21 foot because I want two boards that are as long as my roof so those are going to be my two first boards those are going to be one inch thick i think for extra yeah and uh i'm thinking about four eighths is a half i'm thinking i'm gonna do five eighths siding i could go one inch that seems heavy. But those are pretty heavy. I mean, those are like the boards we have on the deck back there. Yeah, and they're that super, seems super big heavy. and heavy. So instead of going a full inch, I think I'm going to do like five eighths, which is an eighth bigger than a half. It's an eighth bigger than a half. Yeah. Okay. But three eighths thinner than a inch. Oh, Lord. I could go three quarters. Maybe I should go three quarters. Why are you going against half an inch? Uh, it's just too thin. Dang right. Check this out. Got us a 21 foot log. <laughs> I thought you were showing me your axe. <laughs> For some long stuff. And uh... Some 16 footers here. That's some pretty wood. Dang right, that's a lot of wood. Some uh, 21 footers, which some might end up 10, I don't know. Uh, I could use as much of this for siding as possible and then save the long ones for something else, who knows. Yeah. But uh, had to make some room from the sawmill to get through here. <laughs> Looks like you're on a roll. Yep. That's what I'm doing today. Until payday. <laughs> I think today's payday. So I'm probably going to be working while Holly goes and gets us some Mexican. Oh, God. You and your Mexican. Alright, so the reason I cleared out my notch here is because I want to keep this tree together until I mill this down to where it's lighter where I can move it so I didn't want to cut the tree in half and have this roll on me and then I would have to fix it so I just left it attached to the top of the tree so it don't move and then I made a gap here so my chainsaw blade will just come through here and I can lift chainsaw up without this being in my way 
kind of how I moved that out of my way. So now, I, in a way, I moved that out of my way. But what I want to know is what the hell is all this growing behind you? It's my farm. <laughs> I've been farming. You've been farming? Yeah. Because I'm seeing corn. Yep, got we got me. some forest celery. Yep, I got me some corn here. <laughs> got me some corn growing over here. <laughs> got me some celery. Pretty celery right there. <laughs> That's that woodsman celery right woodsman there. Woodsman celery. That's the lumberjack celery. <laughs> so I got me a piece. I don't know. I'm hoping I get me a, at least a few pieces of corn. <laughs> and uh, you know, more celery. So uh, let's talk about let's talk about this for real. And I might I might have some herbs mixed in here. You know what I mean? And uh, so let's talk about our little uh, our little uh, our farm garden right here. So would, would you consider this manna? It's uh, seventy five percent edible. Would you consider it manna? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. So my my point being my point being we did not plant this. We didn't plant the forest celery, we didn't plant the corn, but God decided that, you know, end times, we might have a food shortage. Mm -hmm. Why don't I just give Chris and Holly some corn and some celery? All right. Help them survive a little bit? Yeah, I can't wait to... Uh... I believe in manna. I believe in it. Oh yeah, for sure. God definitely gives you everything you need. Absolutely. Which is food. Yep. And he gives you stuff, obviously, to create shelter. <laughs> for free. Yep. Um, the land, uh, it used to sort of be free. And, uh, <laughs> but, but anyway, my theory is God gives you everything you need. Eat for free. Yeah. Live for free. Yeah. Um, Sun energy free. And if you can't eat and live for free, then... Uh, <laughs> That's energy right there, guys. Just, free. Yeah. <laughs> you, if you're materialistic and you need AC and all this stuff, I guess... I would not call is. people that love AC materialistic. Okay, buddy, because I'm right up there with them. I'm, no, I'm not judging anyone saying <laughs> you're materialistic. I'm just saying it. Life has become materialistic. Yes, life has become. I'm not judging anyone. But I'm going to love my AC until we lose power and I the mean, grid shuts down. I mean, I'm hoping by the time I get done building my campground, I'll have made enough money to buy me a house, probably some AC. With some AC. Yeah. <laughs> extra refrigerator in the basement <laughs> you know but uh manna guys god's growing us some manna but i know that you do cause your dollar hates shit and it's tax to know him cause a red break from milling, taking a break from life, we're gonna eat like kings. Even me. Oh yeah. Oops. Oh, you're missing bean dip. How oh. could I forget that? Oh. <laughs> well, bon appetit. <laughs> bon appetit. This is a meal fit for a king. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And we get 
like a musical interlude. <laughs> This is, uh, it feels like it's doubled since the last time we recorded. You doubled the boards. This is awesome. Now that you're in the bright. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> I mean, that is, that is like full throttle noon right there. It just got <laughs> super hot all of a sudden, like. Well, I really needed some gas. Thank you so much. How much is your gas, sir? A dollar. A dollar? Yep. That is a great deal. <laughs> wow, I'll take it all. <laughs> okay. A dollar. That's amazing. You know I'm real doing this. <laughs> For real, real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I know, because the gas really needs a couple bucks in there so that we can... uh get to town. <laughs> Why are you going to town? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Wow. I really like this gas station. And only <laughs> yes. and only a dollar a gallon? Mm -hmm. Wow. Here you go, sir. All right, nice doing business with you. Bye. 